Welcome back to the channel everyone, it's Unknown Gamer here. Thank you so much for stopping by and today we have a much shorter video. We're gonna be looking over Falling Guillotine. I wanted to do an in-depth review over this sword piece. I know it's everyone's favorite and it's just blatantly overpowered, let's be frank here. But the three things I wanted to go over were gonna be the weapon perks on the left side. I wanna focus on Jagged Edge, Honed Edge, and then Enduring Blade. So the first one we'll take a look at is Jagged Edge and Boss Spec. And just to note, um, the total damage number that you see in the top left um, corner of your screen is after you have Whirlwind Blade times 5. Um, so those previous numbers are just essentially added onto it if you want to get the total total damage, but I was just doing that for an after like what you actually do. And for the first one we did boss back, which is about a 7.8 damage increase. So you saw that we did pretty decent damage, but that is the one with the highest DPS value. But weirdly enough, it's not the one with the highest damage over time. So now we're going to try it with backup mag. And this one was kind of interesting because I was expecting it to be a lot better than it was and it was honestly kind of disappointing. Um, boss spec is just such a good mod if you can use it because it increases damage to bosses at by 7.8%. And unfortunately here I should have been putting on major spec. Major and boss spec have the same damage increase but I just was a complete idiot and put on the boss one. But you could have put on major to see the numbers on screen that you're seeing but I just did the math. <laughs> um, but yeah so now we'll go to enduring blade which is the one with the most ammo. And this one I didn't put a um, backup mag on because it only gives you an additional three rounds. But you see here the total damage is one million. We passed the one million mark, which is really cool. Um, we will see that happen a couple of times. And the next one I wanted to test, and this is actually probably like the biggest um, surprise of this whole video, is just Honed Edge plus Boss Spec. Um, getting into it, this was not what I expected, even remotely close, because this was probably one of the better ones out of all of them and I think I might start using this more because you get decent DPS but you also get a great damage over time the other one to reach 1 million um, so I really do recommend this I know a lot of people go with people will be using um, the first perk that we talked about Jagged so I was actually honestly surprised with how much damage you're actually able to put out with Honed Edge plus Boss Spec and I, I was I, I might have to start running this a lot more because the damage you can actually do is pretty substantial and it's just something that caught me by surprise because I'm so used to running uh, Jagged, so this might be something I start incorporating more into my uh, character. But the next one I wanted to go ahead and check out was um, uh, Honed with Backup Mag, just to see if there was a, any difference, um, or if we could do maybe more damage. I, I was honestly kind of disappointed by Backup Mag because in theory, you know, you're getting a lot more shots depending on which one you pick, but the damage just isn't there, so it's almost always better just to go with um it's just always better to go with boss spec at the end of the day is what i was like noticing but you know i was hoping for maybe backup mag to do a little bit more but boss spec is just such a good um mod that it's to pass up on so i just recommend glue like you can get off the attacks if you're just doing straight up light attacks and the rest of the video is just me kind of messing around with uh more sword stuff but yeah so i was honestly surprised so at the end of the day i think the main one i'm going to start using is honed edge i think and then i'm going to start using boss spec and of course there's other specs you could do if you if you're say for instance you're doing the dungeon i recommend doing the taken spec because it just is so good i mean sprint grip could be a interesting one to use and even surrounded uh you do get a lot a lot of damage increase with that plus whirlwind blade but it's too situational in my opinion so i just recommend going for something a little bit more easy to spec in you should be using your heavy on bosses and majors and stuff like that not really like rank and file enemies while swords are really underrated for ad clear i do recommend just using it on bosses but yeah guys that's going to do it for today's video hope everyone found this useful and just as a heads up the numbers are were rounded a little bit just because you know that's how bungie does their stuff so your numbers may be a little different but not by much hope everyone has a good one and i will see you all in the next one